Before this rant starts, I'd actually like to promote my Twitter. So, as you can imagine, I'm a guy who likes to voice his opinions. Sometimes they're not PG. Wait. <laughs> as you guys know, it's been about two months since my last rant. So, if you actually want to get some more of that controversial 30 virus hot takes, you should follow me on Twitter because I, I post pretty much every day on Twitter. And sometimes... It's controversial opinions, and maybe not even controversial. It depends on the day, I guess, but I, I like to fight for my right to be heard and not to be misconstrued, and I fight misinformation, as you're about to see in this uh, video. But yeah, you should follow me on Twitter. There's, and sometimes there's some pretty good memes as well. Anyways, on with the video. According to Wikipedia, bandwagoning is the tendency of an individual to acquire a particular style, behavior, or attitude because everyone else is doing it. It is a phenomenon whereby the rate of uptake of beliefs, ideas, fads, and trends increases with respect to the proportion of others who have already done so. In other words, as more people come to believe in something, others also hop on the bandwagon regardless of the underlying evidence hey guys i'm back for another video and today i'm gonna talk about some stuff welcome back to 30 vice rants it's been a while it's been a few months actually since this format of rant where it's me playing bed wars uh, anyways i'd like to address something that honestly is fairly similar to my first ever rant that being that i can't take criticism it's one thing for a handful of commenters to misinterpret your argument in a video but lately i felt like i've been misunderstood by the community at large when it comes to some topics for example Three of my videos have been completely butchered by the community these past few months. What I've been noticing is that a large number of people are reading the headline and not actually consuming the content, yet they decide to argue with me anyways. The videos in question are, first of all, we demand these Hypixel Skyblock features. Most specifically at the end when I mentioned recom changes. So uh, if you don't watch Hypixel Skyblock and don't know anything about the game, I'm sorry, but there's going to be a lot of that in this video because this is the lens in which people are arguing with me. Anyways, I said in that video that recombobulators, which are an item that currently costs 5 million coins and upgrade the rarity of an item, I said they should be worth 500,000 coins rather than 5 million. And in addition to 500,000 coins, it would cost a varying amount to apply it to an item depending on the rarity, similar to the reforged stone system. I figured this was a good idea for the game considering that, well, recombobulators are too expensive for something that's, you know, a low rarity. Would it make sense to spend 5 million coins to get plus three strength? on a common talisman no it would make absolutely no sense would it be worth it to upgrade a legendary talisman to mythic yeah i'd say that's worth it but my argument here was that recombobulator should not be a flat price overall but it should vary in cost depending on the rarity of the item now the first point of controversy here is that people took only the part they wanted to hear from my argument and made fun of me for it that being 500k recoms nowhere do people mention the application cost which i mentioned in this video which would make it almost the same price to recombobulate an item that is let's say legendary it would have a fee of 4.5 million coins uh, an epic talisman could have a fee of maybe 3 million coins so on and so forth but of course people took the part they wanted to hear and they memed me for it 500,000 coin recoms is what people have been spreading around. This is the, the rumor, the misinformation, uh, a big part of why this video is being made in the first place. The second video that people had a problem with was when I said that God Potions are the worst item in Hypixel Skyblock. Now again, this is another game balancing video where I talk about how the early game pretty much gets completely ruined by this item because all it takes is for somebody to play the game for a very short time, walk into the community center, someone could take the free booster cookie, eat it, acquire bits, and then immediately buy a God Potion. Or they could sell the cookie in the bazaar and then afford 
afford multiple god potions in coins so i saw this as a massive problem because a god potion is every single potion in hypixel skyblock for 24 hours which for its price is absolutely ridiculous it's the biggest it's i would say the textbook definition of power creep where a feature is added later in, later on in a game's development and it lessens the importance of early game content and what it does is it pushes people towards the late game way faster than normal which leads to a content drought because a lot of the early game content can be completely skipped and there's no reason to even play it so if people actually watch the video they would understand my point that the god potion should never have existed in the first place if they wanted to make alchemy more convenient prevent scamming from splashes make it so that you didn't have to stop everything you're doing and drink a potion once every hour there could have been a, there was a way better way to do this for example instead of a god potion that gave every single effect for near little to no coins it would be nice to have a system similar to enchanting where the god potion would of course not exist but through alchemy mini games you could get very powerful potions similar to the dungeon potion which honestly is somewhat of a combat oriented very long duration potion i think there should have been more like that there could have been a potion that gives you skill xp boosts in all categories and maybe some speed so that you can forge really efficiently so that you can farm so that you could mine that sort of thing but it would be i would say split up into five different potions all across the board but of course like with the recom suggestion people only took one detail out of this entire 20 minute video right i implied that the god potion as it exists right now should not exist and if you were to do the math if you were to drink 24 hours of every single potion effect it would cost 10 million coins and people interpreted that as saying that i think god potions should just be bumped up to 10 million coins in value and that would fix all of our problems that is not what i said first of all 10 million coins was a figure that i threw out there very quickly just to prove how ridiculous the god potion is because it would cost 10 million coins to drink that many potions now, of course, there was a big assumption here that I missed, and it's that people participate in splashes. And if you were to, let's say, pay 200,000 coins for a two-hour splash, it would cost 2.4 million coins for 24 hours of every potion effect in the game. But again, I was not saying that god potions should be worth 10 million coins. I said that it's way too powerful of an item. There shouldn't even be a price on it because it shouldn't exist. It's just too ridiculous of an item. It cheapens so much of the rest of the game. So there should be replacement items that help you out and make things convenient, but don't make the game too cheap. And that's exactly what that video said. But of course, people only took 10 million coin god potions out of the video and finally i'm gonna go a little bit quicker with this one item durability i don't even want to argue with people on this video because people just disregarded my points entirely i tried to specify in the description of the video itself what i was what i meant because people just read the title oh items should have durability well i don't want my hyperion to break because they used it up that's not what i said people have a gut reaction to the title they don't listen to any of the video and they just comment they just hate they just leave a dislike they clown on me in the forums right some clarifications from that video if you're too lazy to watch it but still want to argue with me your items do not disappear when they reach minimum durability you do not need to repair together everything to add durability your expense expensive gear could be repaired with repair kits and not just taking two livid daggers and throwing them together and wasting four million coins that's not what i'm suggesting you do not need to repair gear constantly it would take roughly 10 hours of gameplay to reduce the durability of something like a hyperion to 75 percent and it would cost about a million to repair it at an npc or 200 to 500 thousand to repair with kits again People are taking the title and thumbnail and misconstruing it into this thing that it basically pushes their own narrative, right? So I think a lot of this comes from people misunderstanding. Well, it, it's not just people misunderstanding. It's a, a deep rooted 
hatred of youtube ranks right and i think that's the problem that we're having here right regardless of my intention in these videos there's been posts with hundreds if not thousands of likes misquoting my suggestions at my expense for some it's funny just to make fun of the youtuber and call him stupid and for others these posts are seen as evidence that i'm not to be trusted or taken seriously i'm tried to make a post on the forums to explain myself and show people that these rumors are false but as you would expect the dislikes continue to roll in from these blind haters who even admit to have not even read the post and just disliked it because i'm the author this is a textbook example of bandwagoning it doesn't matter what the information is it doesn't matter if it's true or false they believe they believe in what they believe because it's what everyone else says is this a consequence of the community being too young do people refuse to look at the big picture just to get a cheap laugh at my expense or do people blindly believe what the memes say and never look at my content in the first place I've got a better answer, and it isn't a new one. Like I said, this video is very similar to my first ever rant. For years, the narrative's been that YouTubers have an advantage over normal players in Skyblock. Therefore, they can't be trusted or reasoned with. And as the only YouTuber to have stood up against that sentiment, I am the public enemy number one for these haters. This is because I'm fighting the trend of the bandwagon. This hatred comes from a place where staff and fans give YouTubers special treatment in exchange for publicity or attention. And that makes players jealous. They see false bans and wipes. They have their items stolen by scammers or hackers. Items just disappear randomly from bugs. And there's no hope that staff will ever refund these items. They can only progress so fast without gifts from other people and see YouTubers skipping massive parts of the game. So yeah, they get jealous. I can say or do anything in my videos and it's always going to be perceived in a certain predetermined way regardless of my intentions. These jealous people only hear the parts of my arguments that they want to hear and they ignore the rest and warp my words into something that continues to push their narrative. <laughs> These YouTubers are not us. They are a separate entity. They don't know the struggles we know. So why should we trust them? Why should we listen to them? This is the narrative that they keep pushing. Yes, YouTubers have an in-game advantage due to what we provide for the network. If none of us were making videos, would Skyblock even exist at all? Would games like Bed Wars receive updates years after release if there was no one to promote them and bring new players in? There's a reason why Hypixel is so successful, and it's because that they embraced what made Minecraft popular in the first place, and that is content creators. Now, some creators choose to abuse that advantage, but others use it for content. It might be hard to believe, but for a lot of us, just playing the game and enjoying ourselves is not the goal. Our goal is to make videos and streams for you. Of course, since I've held the public enemy number one spot for a while for these anti-YouTuber people, the narrative actually has shifted recently well i don't know about recently it's been a slow process actually uh instead of the narrative being that youtubers can't be trusted it's that 30 virus can't be trusted as unhealthy a habit as it is to look myself up on the forums it does clue me into the mindset of these people as you can guess with the theme of this rant a lot of what they say about me as a person is misinformed just like the god pots and recoms my biggest criticism nowadays is I don't know how to handle hate, which disregards the entire purpose of the Rand's playlist. I've never been a pushover, and I will fight for what I think is right. This is, again, the topic of my very first rant. I won't stand for misinformation and lies. To quote myself from a year ago, it's not that I can't take criticism, it's that I actually fight back when people say outright wrong things about me. The other criticism that I've been getting recently is that I am, quote, a grown man arguing with children online. First of all, I'm 23 years old. I... I am barely an adult, okay? I play Minecraft for a living. Using the adult argument, just disregard. It's just a way to downplay what I'm saying. You're trying to downplay my argument by saying that I'm an adult and I shouldn't even be in this community in the first place, which is just wrong <laughs> age is not an excuse to be a bad person by the way and your words have weight on a platform where information like age gender background etc that you're anonymous you are what you say you are your profile picture and your account name is you uh, so all that other information is not relevant. In my opinion, if you're an abrasive person, you shouldn't get a pass just because you're young. 
I remember when I was 11 years old, I didn't pick fights and lie about people on the internet. I still had a good moral compass, I'd like to think. I don't think that someone has the excuse to be a jerk just because they're a kid. It's not like I'm ever going to make anyone think the same way that I do. If someone watched my video and disagrees with me, that's fine. You're allowed to disagree with me. I'm not going to say that the world should listen to everything 30 virus says and that what I say is law. What I am saying though, is that I deserve to be understood and respected in this community. But these misinformation campaigns and, ba and bandwagoning is just out of control. So what can I do in a situation like this? Well, it's obvious that at this point, there's no reasoning with these people. So the best course of action is to fight. Many of these haters are irrational and aggressive. They tend to break rules. So, for example, I found that the controversial public shaming rule on the Hypixel forums, which I've talked about in previous rants before, although it's fundamentally, it's just stupid and it's impossible to enforce in its full capacity. It is a way for me to push back against misinformation and abuse. So I personally have reported over a hundred uses on the forums for targeted harassment, public shaming and spreading misinformation, and they've been punished for it. I would suggest that you do the same when you see people like this that are just spreading misinformation and lies they're pushing a narrative they're trying to discredit what youtubers say because they're quote in a different group they don't know what they're talking about because all they know about the games like skyblock is that everything's easy because everything's given to them by their subscribers or whatever you know these outright wrong statements you know they completely disregard things like my solo profile where i the whole point of starting the solo profile was not to take gifts. And here's an example of people trying to discredit me and try to make me look stupid is they say things like, oh, his ratio of net worth to playtime is pathetic. I got the same net worth in like one fifth the amount of playtime. Well, no, duh. You started playing after the power creep happened. You think it was easy to progress back in 2019 when all you can do was farm pumpkins and there was no such thing as a personal compactor or sacks or even an axe that would give you more drops. There were no enchantments that gave you more drops other than harvesting, which didn't even work on axes if we're going to talk about pumpkin farming. Like, of course, people have a higher net worth to uh playtime ratio nowadays because the game has been made easier so it's just such a stupid argument that people like they will say that i don't know what i'm talking about with these suggestions because i'm a bad player when literally i put in hundreds of hours per week in this game and they're just they disregard it because of things like that they just make up they just make things up like they think i'm jealous right that new players are able to progress faster i don't give a crap i'm here to make videos i don't care if someone is able to surpass my net worth in a week good on them it doesn't affect me at all i, I don't suffer from this jealousy thing that, that these people seem to think i am no I think it's for the betterment of the game if the early game is longer because it's actually fun and there's content. Do you really want to just skip the entire game's progression and then just leave yourself with nothing but farming for eight hours a day? No! You want to fight dragons. You want to fight the magma boss and collect kills on blazes and all of that stuff because it's fun. It's actually unique. It's different. But, you know, I'm just jealous. I just think that the whole game should be skewed in towards the early game because I'm jealous that people are progressing too fast. It's such a stupid argument. <laughs> but yeah, don't let these people discredit YouTubers because they have their agenda, right? They just want people to think that YouTubers don't know anything and that their opinions are inferior or whatever. <laughs> It's, I'm so sick of it, dude. But anyways, yeah, report that crap. Uh, although I personally haven't made any steps to clean up things like the subreddit. I actually have some friends and guildmates that are on the staff team on the subreddit. And without me asking, they've just been, they've been cleaning up a lot of the misinformation, especially with the item durability video, which might explain why that's the least talked about of all of the controversies surrounding me right now, because that was put to bed before it even started. You know, people didn't even listen to my arguments and were just 
baby raging and oh my god i don't want my hyperion to break and disappear like you know that that crap was put down which is cool it's cool to see that misinformation is being dealt with on the subreddit now of course there's still the memes about the god potions and the recoms and the thing i guess the reason why they weren't deleted is because there's a teeny little seed of truth yes i said 500,000 recoms plus an application cost but people ignore that part and yes i did say god potions for 10 mil but they ignore the fact that i said god potion should never have existed in the first place and that its current buff is worth 10 million coins and it, instead you should be able to get smaller buffs for cheaper that are more balanced but again people don't listen to that part <laughs> it's really annoying dude all i want all I've wanted this entire time with the 30 virus rant series and me versus the forums is just to be understood. If you disagree with me, that's fine. But what I hate and what just drives me insane is having my words misconstrued and used against me. And people call me an idiot because I think that, again, recom should be 10 times less expensive than they are no strings attached i never said that and although these people aren't receptive of the truth and will continue to harp on this narrative right there's still a good reason to clarify my intentions and disprove the liars with public statements and that is to prevent otherwise neutral people from being infected with this mindset and become youtube haters i bet my first impression to a lot of my current haters is this misinformation they probably started to hate me because of 500,000 coin recoms and 10 million coin god pots when they don't even have the full story it's causing a lot of damage in this community honestly these people are misinformed and they just they think that i'm an idiot so I don't know, man. And it's not just with me. This happens all across the board. Pro this is just human nature, if I'm going to be honest with you. This isn't a problem with our community. This is just a problem with human nature. But I don't know. Keep yourselves educated. This is the same exact way I ended my, pre my first rant, is to keep yourself educated. Actually get the facts straight and then make your decision. For now, I guess, do your part and report those that spread hate and misinformation and stop it from being warped to fit some cringe agenda that is outdated, honestly. No one even cares about contraband anymore. <laughs> and argue for what's actually... Argue for the facts. The only way to fight bandwagoning is to stop new people from hopping on. Eventually, people are going to get bored of this game and quit, which means that this bandwagon hopefully someday will die <laughs> because new people aren't going to be infected with this stupid mindset because they'll be educated. They'll know, hey, what 30 virus said, I don't agree with, but at least it comes from a place that makes sense. The truth needs to be out there and people have a right to know what's actually going on in their community. And with that, jeez, <laughs> that's a lot of speaking. Uh, this is the reason why I haven't done a rant in over two months in the traditional sense. Those game suggestion ones, I would say, are only half rants. But, um, jeez, this stuff is, it's frankly annoying. I just want to be understood, man. I just want people to stop lying and just twisting my words. Well, anyways, I guess that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later.